When you go to create your website for your business, you might not be sure what is the most important thing you should have on your homepage or your landing page. So in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through all the steps required to make your own landing page using Wix. And we're gonna do this by stacking the seven essential elements that I suggest you have on a landing page in order to be strategic and make sales in your business. This video and this freelance business startup series is sponsored by Wix, which is the platform where all my business websites are hosted. So when you are ready to start making your landing page, use this link below in the description to design your landing page today. So first I want to explain the distinction between a homepage and a landing page because they are a little different. A homepage is kind of just a general here's my business, here we are, and it doesn't really have any specific intention or action steps behind it. And there is a time and place for a homepage, maybe for a business like a restaurant, where a restaurant doesn't need to facilitate sales online or really get users to take any action online. Their whole purpose of being online is really just to be online. Maybe they have their hours, location, and their menu, but online is not where they're doing most of their business. So they are fine with just a homepage but your landing page is designed to get potential customers to take a specific action right there and then online. So if you're trying to grow your business, make sales or talk to customers on the internet, you're going to need a landing page and that's going to be much more efficient for growing your business and making sales. So I just wanted to clear up that little distinction so that anyone's confused why I keep saying landing page. Some people also call it a sales page, but I'm going to call it a landing page. So for your landing page design and layout, you really want it to flow. People nowadays, thanks to social media, are very accustomed to scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And it's to the point where we don't even think of it anymore. And I say this to say that there is absolutely no pressure at all to make all the important things in the top center of your website. That is a mistake that some people make when designing their websites is they try to squeeze everything in the front and center because they're afraid that people are going to go away before they get all the important information. When I think it's the opposite, when someone gets to a website, they're gonna naturally scroll down and I think they'll even be disappointed if there's nothing to scroll down to. So you want your landing page to flow vertically and you're gonna do this by stacking different elements. Wix actually has some really cool features that make scrolling even more satisfying. One that I like is called the parallax effect and that is where different elements on the screen scroll at slightly different rates and this creates a kind of depth of field effect and it looks like things are kind of sliding past one another. They also have some animation effects which will activate the animation as you scroll down to new elements and so you can use these effects in moderation, please don't overdo it, and that will make the user more inclined to keep scrolling. So let's get into the tutorial. So we're just going to log into Wix and you can create a landing page either using a template or from scratch. To use a template, just click Create New Site, select Business Website, click Edit Template, and select an option that you like. This one, for example, is called Webinar Landing Page, and this template happens to have pretty much everything I recommend having on a landing page. But I'm going to go back to the sample website that I created in a previous video on branding and I'm going to show you how you can assemble a landing page from scratch just by stacking the elements that you want to have one by one. So Wix has these cool elements called strips and you can just drag and drop them and stack them on one on top of another. So the first one we're going to do is a photo and this I call the hero image. And to select your hero image, just click image and upload or search for a picture that you want. So this is the image that's going to be front and center on your homepage. And if this is a personal brand website, then the photo should be a photo of you. And you can just upload a nice picture view that's going to be big front and center. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some text to this hero image where you're gonna write your unique selling proposition. This is something we talked about in a previous video about your online presence and you're just gonna write whatever the main purpose of your business is here in text and make sure that the text shows up well. I added a little shadow at the end and make sure that all of your fonts are consistent throughout the homepage. Make sure the text is big enough on top of the picture 
and there's the USP front and center. So if you don't want to use a photo of yourself, another type of hero image you can use is a photo of the type of audience you're trying to cater to. So for example, if this is a website for students, you can just use Wix's huge library of stock photos and search for pretty much anything you're looking for and you can find a photo of students. So after you have your hero image, we're gonna add what's called the benefits statement. So here you're going to list the benefits of working with you. For example, make more sales with your landing page, and then you can write in sentence form or bullet point form some of the benefits of working with you. There you go ahead and add the text. Make sure again that it's big enough, that it's using the right fonts, make that strip a little longer. And this is where I suggest you add a button that links to maybe your portfolio or something like that. Um, something that will give them a reference to what you're doing. In the last video, we talked about building your portfolio page. So I'm just going to put a button here that says see portfolio or see work. And you can link that to whatever page you're referencing. So for the next strip, we're going to add the product and service features. So here is a strip that Wix has created that already has four sections and you can just modify those icons, modify the colors as you see fit and basically write down some of the features of working with you, like what exactly your products and services are. And that strip is perfect for doing that. And the next strip we're gonna do is a little bit of social proof so if you've been featured in any publications or if you've worked with any notable clients, then you can go ahead and upload the logos of the clients that you've worked with. You can go ahead and upload images of logos of any clients you've worked with or publications you've been featured on. And this is just adding social proof to your website and just adds a little more credibility and relevance to your business. So another form of social proof is testimonials and Wix has this strip which is perfect for putting testimonials. All you have to do is drop the strip in, modify the colors and the fonts as they pertain to your branding, write the names of the clients that you've worked with that you have testimonials for, and modify the, the text and photos of those clients. Now we're going to add another strip. This is my favorite strip for just adding general text. And this strip is going to be a call to action. The call to action is the most important part of your landing page because it really urges people to click on the action that you want them to take. So the action I want them to take from this sample landing page is create your landing page today. And then we're going to go ahead and add a button. Make sure that it looks good and matches the branding for the website and go ahead and type in whatever that action is that you want them to take. So get started now is a perfect call to action button text. And you can actually go ahead and add another call to action button higher up on the page. So that's what I've done on the hero image under the USP. So another thing I suggest having is a frequently asked questions section. Wix has the perfect FAQ tool and all you have to do is drag and drop it on your page and click manage questions and go ahead and think of some questions that your customers might have before getting started and working with you and just modify the text. Click the check mark, repeat. And once you have a few questions that are going to clarify working with you, go ahead and click done. And there you have a beautifully functional frequently asked questions section.
So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add what's called an opt-in form. And we're just gonna use my favorite strip again as the background for the opt-in form. So we're just gonna change the color here. We're gonna delete that text and then we're gonna drag in the opt-in form that Wix has already created. And this will give users the opportunity to add in their name or their email address if they aren't sure they wanna take the next action step yet, but maybe they wanna keep in contact with you. And of course you wanna give them a reason to sign up for your email list and opt-in. So I suggest giving some kind of discount or freebie in order for them to sign up for your email list. And then at the very bottom, we're just gonna put one more call to action and give them one more chance to take you up on your offer. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a light box, which is a pop-up version of your opt-in form. We're gonna put the same offer, the same type of form, and we're gonna set this up so that it triggers automatically to turn on just a few seconds after they arrive to your landing page. So we're just gonna adjust the seconds here and let's see what it looks like. You can preview it and then it just pops up like that. Now I'm gonna show you how I did these animation effects. So if you click on one of your strips and you click the button that says parallax, then you'll have that parallax effect I mentioned. If you click on a button, you have all these options for how your button can be animated. And again, this will make people more likely to click on the button and notice the button. So in order to set up the animations, you just click on the element that you want animated, click on this little animation icon, and then select the animation that you'd like to use. So here is our finished landing page. Everything is functioning. Some of the things are animated and it all flows really well together. So those are the seven things that I think you should have on your landing page. And notice I didn't mention anything about prices. I actually don't recommend putting your prices on your landing page or your main page unless you are offering one service at one price. If that's the case, then obviously the next step you want them to take is to buy that one thing at that one price. But chances are, if you're offering an online service, you're gonna have various pricing and packages. And I think instead of overwhelming them with all the options, focus on getting them to take one next step and that's gonna be a lot easier for them to do rather than having to decide then and there what they actually want from you. So in the next video, we're gonna talk all about how to display your prices and how you can price your services, but I recommend first trying to win them over and getting them interested in working with you and then telling them about the pricing and the packages and the options. And we'll talk about that in the next video. But if you found this tutorial helpful, then I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video and definitely use this link down below to start building your landing page today. Wix has amazing features that I use personally, so I highly recommend it. I've also created a worksheet PDF that you can download so that you can check all the seven items off your list and make sure that you are creating the perfect strategic landing page. So good luck making your landing page. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.